You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. I am Bella. Listen as Bella explores a wide variety of topics such as angels, archangels, ascending masters, and light workers. Bella also utilizes Reiki energy healing, the chakras, crystals, meditation, and the importance of grounding and cleansing your aura using oracle cards to reach your spirit guides. So now, please welcome your host, Bella. Welcome to the I Am Bella Show. This is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Blessings, love, and light. I am your host, Bella. Beginning with the Universal Reiki saying, those of you wanting to receive this energy, please place your feet on the floor, hands open, and palms up. Listen to my words or say them along with me. These are the words... Me, Bella, I try to live by every day. Just for today, do not rise to anger. Do not succumb to worry. Express gratitude for all your blessings. Apply yourself diligently. Manifest compassion to all beings. Namaste. And now let's begin the show. Last week, got a little bit off track with some callers, which was just awesome for me. But I got somewhat off track, and I'm going to pick up where I left off. And that is about guardian angels and the belief in guardian angels. Right now, we all have guardian angels with us. These angels are pure beings of divine light who are entirely trustworthy and who want to help you with every area of your life the word angel means messenger of God angels carry messages between the creator and the created like heavenly postal carriers we don't pray to the angels because we pray to God nor do the angels want to be prayed to. They want to be God's messengers. As messengers of God, they carry prayers and messengers between the Creator and the created. And we, us, we are considered the created. If you worry whether you're connecting with God or your Creator's trustworthy angel, or a lower barrier so that no one human or spirit who is not of God, and I speak of God not necessarily as everyone who believes in God because it can be anyone that you as a human believes in, Buddha or whatnot. It doesn't necessarily have to be God. I am a spiritualist. You can believe in whatever entity you want to. I use that term loosely, does not have to be of God's pure love. It can come near to you. Once you ask this messenger, this guardian angel, it's done. Angels love everyone unconditionally. They look past the surface and see the goodness within all of us. They focus only on our divinity and our potential and not our faults 
So angels aren't judgmental, and they only bring love into our lives. You're safe with angels, and you can totally trust them. It doesn't matter whether you're a believer or a skeptic, because the angels believe in you. They see your inner light. They know your true talents. And they understand you have a very important life mission. And they want to help you with everything. You don't have to have special training. You don't have to be a saint or engage in religious work to commune with the angels. They help everyone who calls upon them no matter what. The angel's assistance is free of charge, always available, and there are no catches involved. Now, I believe we have a, have a couple phone calls before I teach you how to reach your guardian angel. Do you want to bring anyone in? Hi, Bella. Hello. Hello, Bella. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, I wanted to know if you had a message for me today. There was a couple questions I had, but that's the one I wanted to start with. Okay. May I have your name? Doris. Doris, who are you trying to reach? Um, my husband. Doris, when, for me, when trying to reach someone on the other side... I have to be silent for at least a couple of minutes to pull in their energy, and I cannot do that on a radio show because I can't okay. go down to dead silence and pull in energy. Um, okay. If you want to call me, I can do that for you free of charge and bring in his energy, and I would be more okay. than glad to do that for you. Okay, well then there's another question. Do you okay. see any, anything good in my future? Me. Doris, are you single? Yes. Okay. Are you in the process of looking for a mate, not necessarily to marry, but to, like, for company, something on that nature? I see a I male coming in to your right. Um, that you're going to meet just at the drop of a hat. It's going to be something very unexpected. Um, I don't think it's necessarily going to be romantic, but it's going to be a friendship, and it's just going to take off from there. Someone that is going to just be friendly and give you a lot of company and friendship. I do see that coming in for you before the end of this year. Okay. Okay, now, uh, uh, another thing. Um, what, uh, what stone would be good for me? I've, I've been reading up on some stones, and I'm, I love the amethyst. That's what amethyst is a me. healing stone. Are you into healing? Um that is what an amethyst is basic, basically used to. What attracts you to the amethyst? Have you held the stone? Yes. Well, and what happens when you hold the stone? What happens when you physically hold the stone? I, um, I get a sense of calmness. Then that's um, the stone for you. If you pick up a stone and you are drawn to that stone, all right, Picking up the actual item versus buying it without touching it is the best way to figure out what it is in a stone that you like. If you are drawn to that stone, if you pick up that stone and you have a feeling about that stone, then that is the correct stone for you. You don't have to ask someone like me. If you are drawn to it and you like it, then that is the stone for you. Now we have okay. to go into a commercial break, and we will be back very shortly. You are listening to I Am Bella. This is Bella on the BBM Global Network and I and Tune In Radio. Thank you. 
psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi-day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists, and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Love and Light, everyone. I'm Bella on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You are listening to I Am Bella. I have another caller on the line, Deborah from Finleyville. Hi, Deb. What can I do for you? Hi, Bella. Hello. I feel I have some changes coming in the next few weeks. Can you um, give me some insight on that? I can. I believe that you will be taking the apartment that is closer to where you live now versus the one that is further away. I believe that deep down in my heart, and I believe you will be happier living there versus further away. I believe that both you and your daughter will be very happy with that decision. I believe you will feel safer. I also believe that the issues and the work surrounding the fairs that you are putting on and all of the hard work that you are putting into them will pay off immensely. Ironically, I see Archangel Michael hovering over you. However, as people may guess, if they have been listening to the show, I do personally know you. And I have been asking Archangel Michael to bless you daily. So it's not out of the ordinary that I see his blue aura surrounding you. Well, thank you, Bella. You're welcome, Deb, anytime. Love and light, my friend. You know I love you. Thank you. I love you, too. Okay. All right. Any more callers on right now, sir? Okay. We are going to talk to you, or I am going to talk to you now about bringing in your guardian angel. All right, I'm going to take this call because the guardian angel is going to be a little short meditation that I don't want to interrupt it on. Go ahead, caller. Who am I talking to? Um, this is Susie Q. Hi, Susie Q. How can I help you? Hi, Bella. Um, I just had a question about my past. Okay. Um, do you feel that my ex-husband was spooked out of our home by a dead spirit 
that was haunting him? And did this dead spirit take over his personality? What is your ex-husband's first name? Bob. Did he go by Bob or did he go by Robert or Bobby? Bob. Are you still in that house? Yes, I am. And the spirit is still there, is it not? I've never seen it. But he has and you have not. Correct. And I've had my house blessed and I've had a medium come into the house and mm-hmm. they feel that there is no spirits in my house. Okay. And the priest blessed my house as well. Okay. When did all this happen? Before or after your husband left? Before he left in 2014. I believe your husband, do do you really want me to say what I'm seeing with your husband on air? That's my next question. Yes. You're positive. Yes. Why is it something bad? No, no, I just, I just, you know, these are some personal things and I, I don't want to say something that you may not want said on air. That's all I I want to make sure of that. I'm seeing your husband has three personalities. Okay. Okay. And the dominant personality within your husband, okay, is controlling him and is still controlling him. Okay. Then he Mm -hmm. has a middle personality that's trying to even things out. And then there is him who is the weakest of the personality. This is what's happening with him. All right. There was nothing in this house. This was all in his mind. And I hope that he has gone to mental therapy because if he is, they can be fused and he can be well with medication. But this is not my decision to make. This is ultimately only his decision that he can make. But your Mm -hmm. house is not haunted. Your house is not possessed. This is something that was in his mind and in his mind only. Correct. That's what he would tell me. But I never felt threatened here. But he said that this dead spirit had brought something into our home, but then he got rid of it. So I don't know if it was himself that he got rid of because he said if he didn't leave the house, he was going to lose it. And you believed that? Yes, that's what he told me. But what did your mind believe? I I had no idea. I just okay. went by what he said. Yet your house is fine. Correct? This, correct. I've never had a problem. Right. So the I problem lies did. within your ex-husband. There is the problem. So since he is your ex-husband, you have to let go of that. Let it go. Let it go. There's nothing you can do about that. Your your house, as I see it now, is perfectly safe. You are in a safe environment. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing you can do. But remember in your heart that You just have to let him go that the issue was his issue, his problem, and he needs to get well. Yeah, that's what I hope he does because I still worry. Of course you do. You don't turn it off just like a faucet. It does not go off, my friend. The love still stays. Of course it does. So he needs to get mental, mental help. And if you are still involved in his life, then you can guide him. If not, then all you can do is let it go. Once again, I apologize, ma'am. We have to go to a commercial break. I hope I answered your question. Please know it is not you. You are listening to I Am Bella on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. This is Bella Blessings, love, and light. I'll be back in a few. Thank you. 
Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.BetterHomeAndGarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor covering, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Good evening. We're on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Thank you for listening. This is Bella, and this is the I Am Bella Show. I'm going to take you into a sh- short meditation on the Guardian Angel. Begin by taking a very deep breath, inhaling all the good energy from the angels on the exhale let go of anything that could be stressing or bothering you just let it go let it go as you continue to breathe in and out very deeply call on your guardian angels and the archangels to make their presence known You may feel them around you, around your shoulders, your head, or other parts of your body, feeling them as a tingling, a warmth, or just feeling a a safety and a peace or a safety net. Now, it's me, Bella, speaking, so I'm telling you right now, I feel my angels all around me. And even if you, right now, can't exactly feel them at this moment, know they are with you, ready and willing to help you with whatever will bring you peace. If you think of a question you have for the angels or any requests for their help, just take a moment and mentally ask, just ask this of your angel right now. And you let this question just rise up to the angels, to your guardian angel, because your guardian angel is like a messenger. Let go of any worries about how your prayer will be answered and trust in the infinite wisdom of the divine that all the messages will go to you and from you through these beautiful, glorious angels to the divine. Ask the angels to surround you with an extra insulation of protective love, helping you all throughout the day to have a peaceful 
and loving day. Blessings, love and light, Bella. Okay, and that is how you bring in your guardian angel. And the next thing I'm going to talk about from last week is another chakra, the sacral chakra. So before I get into that, if I have any callers, I'm going to take a call. If not, I'm going to go into the chakras. Okay, so listeners, here we go on the sacral chakra. That is spelled S-A-C-R-A-L. The sacral chakra color is orange, and it is located in the lower abdomen above the navel. The element is water. The symbol is H, and it is a white lotus flower, which is a crescent moon with six orange petals. The sacral chakra is associated with the testes and the ovaries and the produce of the various sex hormones involved in our reproductive cycle. It regulates our emotions. We also hold our dreams and ambitions here. It's for our creativity, our sense of worth, our confidence, and the ability to be friendly with others, and it lets you bond with loved ones. It's linked to our inner child, our innocence, our vulnerability, and spontaneity. The key issues involving the sacral chakra are relationships, violence, addictions, basic emotional needs, and pleasure. This chakra gets blocked by guilt and shame. When the sacral chakra gets out of balance or blocked, we may feel emotionally explosive or not emotional at all. Without this chakra opened, it may be harder to find direction and motivation, and we may feel emotionally distant or overly emotional. Having this chakra block will lead to poor social skills, fear of sex, and lack of desire, of passion and excitement, and self-denial of pleasure. On the other hand, if it's overactive, we can become manipulative and obsessed. We might also have vigorous and sensitive emotions and can be obsessive and emotionally dependent on others. I'll get back on how to control all of this. We have a caller. Go ahead. Hello, Bella. Hi. I I have a question for you. Okay. I'm changing jobs right now, and I want to know how many jobs is going to be. I didn't quite understand you. You're thinking what? What's the word? I am changing jobs oh, right now. Oh, you're changing jobs. Okay. And, and I want to know, I want to know how my new job is going to be. Okay. Am I going to enjoy it? It's going to be okay. What is your, so can you what tell is your me first more name? About my new job. Uh, my first name is Ruth. Ruth. Hi, Ruth. You're going to like the environment there. You are going to like meeting the new people there. You are an outgoing person and they are going to gravitate to you. You're going to love the change, Ruth. You're going to love it. Good Thank move you. for and you. That's a, it takes me to the, my second question. Um, do you see any men in my life? Yes. Any yes. love in my and life? And you're going to meet them there, Ruth. Ruth, you're going to meet them there. You're going to, not only are you going to move up the ladder... In the process, you will meet someone not at work, but through work. Do you understand what I'm saying? That person is going to be, you're going to meet through work, but he will not work there. Making sense to you? Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate your response. Thank you, Ruth. This is Bella on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am Bella. See you in a few minutes. 
horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Welcome to the I Am Bella Show. This is the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am your host, Bella. Now I am going to tell you the imbalances of the sacral chakra are alcohol and drug abuse, depressions, allergies, yeast infections, urinary problems, and sexual problems. Healing and opening Ways to open and balance your sacral chakra are wearing or eating anything that is the color orange. Since this chakra is related to the color orange, exposing yourself to this color can help. Watching emotional or exciting movies can also be beneficial in opening this chakra. If you're familiar with crystal healing, wearing any orange gemstone is a very effective way of healing this chakra. The gemstones can include amber, citrine, topaz, or coral. Now here's the meditation to open the sacral chakra. Close your eyes and focus your breath to remove all mental clutter that's going on in your head. Once you get into a meditative state, and again, that's by breathing in white light and blowing out the dark, the deep breath in, the deep breath out. Concentrate on the energy being brought up through your feet. Have your feet placed solely on the floor and flat. Have that energy come up through your root chakra, then up through and into your navel. This chakra is blocked by guilt and shame. Forgive yourself and let go of what is burdening your soul with shame and blame. Continue working on this until you really feel the energy. It feels like tingling or maybe a buzzing of energy flowing through you. This is how you'll feel it. And that is how you clear the sacral chakra. Okay, so now I covered what was supposed to be last week's segment, and I am going to start on this week's segment. I want to tell everyone that no one else 
can tell you who you are meant to be. A soul without a purpose can grow heavy as each year passes. It can accumulate a lot of fear, regret, disappointment from the past, present, and the anticipation of more in the future. At some point along the way, a soul begins to question the weight of this empty feeling and wonder if it's on the right path to finding purpose. The good news is that wondering about it means you're closer to finding purpose more than you realize. The only trick is knowing where to look. Now, my line is open. If anyone else wants to call, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to call at 866-451-1451. Back to my subject at hand. You must know where to look or not to look. I can tell you now, people, it took me a long time to figure out my soul's purpose. I believe I know it now. However, the universe may change my path. Yes, I'm a medium and a psychic, and I'm an empath. But much more than that, I am a light worker, and I am a healer. As true as I sit here and talk to you, I know this down deep through my soul. Believe me when I say I have spoken with Archangel Uriel. I know. I want to remind myself that as I am writing this for this audience, Archangel Uriel is present with me. His presence is gentle and nudging, reminding me that I am the keeper of the light. I will let you know if he arrives during the airing of this show, I am Bella. And I can tell you right now, as of yet, he has not shown up, but Archangel Metatron is right here by my side. And there is someone out there, I can tell you right now, is grieving over something because I am also an empath and for some reason I am close to tears. I feel you. I don't know what your issue is, but believe me, whoever it is, and it is someone of the female gender, it will be okay. Call to your angels, whoever you are, or call to me, but soothe your soul, whoever you are, it's going to be okay. Release it. Own up to your fear and let it go. We all have a general idea of what our purpose should be, and this can be detrimental at times. Consider the source of many of these ideas. Friends, families, co-workers often tell us who we are and may even punish us for veering off the path. Approval addiction is a common condition we all suffer from, and its most damaging symptom is going in the direction set by other people in order to gain their praise and approval rather than doing what we want to do, what your soul wants you to do. Follow your first instinct and soul. Go with the flow. There's no book, no speaker or product that can accurately tell you who you are. Your best option is your own courage to keep searching. Understand that there is no failure, only new experiences that bring you closer to discovering who you are. If you've achieved many goals in your life and continue to feel empty and without purpose inside, it's time to turn your attention to what your soul is trying to tell you. You are listening to I Am Bella on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. This is your host, Bella. I'll be back in a few. Thank you for listening. 
Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop. Empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it. Hi friends, it's Bella and I am your host. Thank you for joining me on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. This is the show I am Bella. And back to And I've lost my train of thought. Feel free to call in at 866-451-1451. I was talking about where to look or not to look about finding your soul's purpose. And in finding your soul's purpose, who says that you only get one chance? It's common to believe you only get one chance in life, yet so many people are afraid to make the first move. This kind of thinking doesn't seem very forgiving, now does it? Many people have found their true purpose through trial and error. Listen, friends, spirituality is very simply explained. Be kind. Be nice. Pay it forward. It's truly non-denominational. It's truly about love and paying it forward. Bring in the light. This world needs it. The kinder you are to your neighbor, the kinder they're going to be to you. There's no need for being mean and antagonistic in this world. We were all brought here for a purpose, and I'm sure it wasn't for the intention of being nasty to somebody. Instead of seeing each item that didn't work as a failure, look at it as a stepping stone towards undiscovered territory. There's no experience or relationship that's wasted in life. It all counts towards helping you discover your true passion, love, and purpose. You're only defeated when you give up and accept good enough. Is good enough for you? When you know there is something more out there for you, Say no to fear. Another idea to ask yourself, what would you be doing right now if you were guaranteed success? Finding your purpose can be stifled by your fears. You may not be able to succeed in everything you want, but you can foster your talents and let nature take its course. Many people find their purpose doing something they never thought they could or would do. But they took a chance and their passion found a way. 
I never thought I would be on a radio, and believe it or not, here I am, and I'm still messing up, and I still stumble over my words, but that's okay, because someday I'm going to get it all perfectly right, and it may not matter, because during my show, if I reached one person, if I taught one person that it's okay to make a mistake, to get up and dust yourself up and keep on going, that's okay. If I've reached one loved one, maybe not on the air, but off the air that has crossed over, that's okay. If I can get you that hug from the other side, that's good enough for me. Is it good enough for you? If I can teach you to meditate, if I can teach you to reach your angel, work with a candle, teach you to shake hands with a neighbor that you never thought you would, I've done my job. What else is there? We don't want a war. We don't want to fight. We don't want to pick up where our ancestors left off thousands of years ago. We want to be a peaceful community. The angels are here to help us. Every last one of them. And I'm telling you people, all you have to do is ask. Ask for their help. They're going to give it to you. If you think that they're not, if you think that you're not worthy of, let me tell you something, you are worthy of more than you would ever believe. Don't discount yourself in this world. Right now, I, I am seeing, as I'm speaking to you, my specific angel, Uriel, I have my candle going as I speak every week to you people and her flame, his flame, is going higher and higher and higher. They tell me that Gabrielle is the only genderless angel, that Gabrielle can be male or female. I believe Uriel is the same way. That's my belief. I read in books that Uriel is male only. I don't know. I kind of think Uriel is female, but that's what I believe. And as I say that, my flame goes higher and higher. And she reminds me, I am the keeper of the light. I'm here to tell you, remember who you are. Remember that you have power. Remember that the angels will always be there for you. I was going to go into smudging again, but that is a whole new long segment. But if you feel deep down in your heart, that you have maybe an entity that is, let's say, not friendly for you, that you're not sure, open your windows and smudge. It's, a, it's anything that you can purchase at any metaphysical store. And I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to say you can even get it on Amazon. It's a smudge stick. You light it, make sure you open your windows. I can't reiterate that enough. Open your windows and get every corner in the room that you think may have an entity in it that is unwanted. And you smudge. You go from corner to corner to corner to corner. And you let the smoke. And then you go through each corner and leave the window open and that smoke goes out and there it is you let the spirit go out and believe me to me it smells good it's not complicated it's not messy messy you know and it's made a comeback in recent years and some people like they're daunted by it they don't like the concept of smudging it can. Some people feel skeptical about it, and they're overwhelmed because they fear that they're creating too much smoke or believe it's maybe against their religion or that it's a ritual or that the whole process is too complicated. But when you have the intent or sent the intent, smudging is very, very, very easy and we'll get into it in detail next week. Right now, I have to go to a commercial break, and I'll be back shortly. 
Love and light, everyone. I'm Bella on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You are listening to the I Am Bella Show. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Hello, I'm Steve Fagan and I'm President and CEO of Fagan Associates, but I'm also a life coach. I'm here to help you reach your dreams, goals and objectives. As a life coach, it's my job to be your support, to be your teammate, to help you understand what is your dream, what is your life passion, and then together we work as that team to help you reach your specific goals. Life is worth living the best you can be. Working with a life coach, you're fulfilling those dreams and goals is your passion, and it's your way of living. Let me help you do that today. Let me help you really reach the best that you can be as a person and live the life you should be living. I'm Steve Fagan. I'm a life coach, and I'm here for you. Contact Steve Fagan at FaganAndAssociatesInc.com or call 1-800-239-2701. And I'll be glad to help you move forward to live the life of success. Reach your dreams, your goals, your objectives. We can do it together. Hello, I'm your host, Bella. You are listening to I Am Bella. Good evening. We're on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Back a little bit about smudging before we off, we're off the air until next week. Now, smudging your home. Even when you smudge just a little bit in your mind, I want you to set the intention of clearing your house of bad and negative energies. And you know, the one room in your house that most likely does not need smudged is your kitchen. Your kitchen is probably the most lovable room in your house, especially if you cook in it, even if it's just breakfast. The home is generally centered at some point through the week in your kitchen and it holds a lot of love. Therefore, the house, the space in the kitchen holds love. Most of the rooms in the house that do need smudged, believe it or not, the top on the list is the bathroom. It holds a lot of bad energy. Think of it. I'm not even going to say it. Just think of it. So open the window, get your smudge stick out, smudge that bathroom once a day, and you're going to get rid of all that bad energy in there. Some people go as far as the rooms in their house that they feel need smudged. They buy a smudge stick. They get a beautiful, nice little bowl, and they keep a smudge stick in every room that they feel that needs smudged. The other room that needs smudged the most in your house is your bedroom. Holds a lot of energy. If you've had a fight with a child or a spouse, after that fight is said and done and gone, that room is still holding your bad energy. Smudge, smudge that room. Get rid of that bad energy. If you have access to your attic, smudge it once a month. 
your basement, smudge it once a month. These are the areas of your house that hold a lot of bad energy. Get yourself into a relationship with smudging. Get used to it. It's a nice, earthy, grounding, centering, balancing way of living. And it's part of spirituality, being grounded to the earth. That's what smudging is all about, getting back to your roots. It's a Native American way. I'm going to read a little thing about angels, and I think it's then going to be about time to go off the air. An angel is guiding us towards encompassing life as it is. To let go of, we did this wrong, or they didn't do this right. Time to encompass the knowledge that is all happening perfectly, and that all still is. When we accept the good, the bad, and the indifferent as part of life's rich pattern, when we accept that life holds darkness as well as light, we can release the plane we cling to. Thank you for listening. I hope I did well for you tonight. This is Bella on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I am Bella. Until next week, we'll talk then. I hope you have a blessed week. Good night. This has been I Am Bella. Join Bella as she guides you on how to connect to your guides, angels, and loved ones in spirit and will bring forward messages that can give you new insights. Listen each week as Bella reminds to always stay humble and kind right here on I Am Bella. been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.